Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I sure appreciate you joining me here on this Sunday evening. There is winter storm potential as we go through the week ahead, but we're also talking about some mighty mild weather as well. Let me get the facts you need before the late newscast, all right? So you can have the latest information at your fingertips. And remember, I have just launched my brand new weather app. Would you please search and download it today? It's different than anything else that you'll find right here in the upper Midwest. It is fantastic with connections to all of your road reports. Again, Search Hutch's weather in the App Store. It is free. Let's get right to the details on the forecast. We're going to start with a look at some model guidance. This here is a look at the snow showers that are exiting our area as we went through the day today. Putting this all into motion, those are going to remain out to the east. And then as we see, very quiet conditions here. Next weather system out in the Pacific Northwest is not what I'm eyeballing right now to impact us. Take a look at what goes on as we go into the day on your Monday. Now, late in the day, we'll expect an increase in clouds up to the north. And look at this near Winnipeg, some mixed precipitation moving in late. So our entire area gets a beautiful reprieve from the wintry weather as we go through. Now watch this. As we go into the overnight hours and into your Wednesday, an icy concoction will make its way across the northern valley and northern Minnesota for your Wednesday morning. So we'll want you to watch that. As we go through Wednesday, watch this cold air start backing its way in with a better chance of snow in Minnesota off to the east as we go into your Wednesday night. And by Thursday, it's going to combine with the system moving out of the western part of northern Canada to provide us with a chance for some very wintry weather. But let's get to the details about our day today. It was absolutely stunning. And then we'll look at hour by hour details and some snow potential with this system moving ahead. First thing to keep in mind is today was absolutely stunning. Your highs across the North Dakota Agriculture Weather Network, anything to the left of this white line here, was well above freezing. And in fact, how about 49 in Dickinson, a 50 burger in Billings and Golden Valley counties, 51 down towards Hedinger, Bowman, and Rain. As we go into the capital city, 49 for you folks up in the Mandan area, 39 for Minot. Now, in southeast North Dakota, temperatures today did make it into the 30s out there as we finally saw that warmer air punch in later in the day, but it was kind of blustery throughout the day. Northwest Minnesota only making it into the 20s, but that warm air is on its way to you as well. A quick peek at road conditions as well. We do have some slippery conditions as we head to bed tonight in northeast North Dakota with warmer air pushing in. It's not going to be a solved problem by morning, so keep that in mind. Looking into Minnesota, western and northern parts of the state have blue. That is basically partially covered with ice and or snow. That's going to continue. The Arrowhead also seeing some problems. Green meaning seasonal road conditions. Now, let's talk a little bit about your forecast for the morning. We'll talk about this long-range uh, chance for a winter storm. West winds, 20s in the morning here in the valley west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour look at these morning temperatures out to the west we're talking 41 degrees and uh, 38 degrees as we look out to the west very mild from dickinson and beach straight down into areas of western south dakota it'll be a little bit cooler in the arrowhead of minnesota a few teens there but by and large uh, these are uh, akin to our highs or average highs this time of the year 39 degrees for Fargo. We're going to kiss 40 and 35 degree day in Grand Forks. West winds will drive things well into the 50s in Dickinson out, out there in Buffalo, South Dakota. Looking out into uh, Ekalaka, Montana, 55 for you and for Baker, 56 in Glendive. Looking into Lakes Country and up north, there'll be a chance of that mixed precipitation late, not necessarily in the afternoon, but in the evening hours, mainly up north here. And that spreads into northern Minnesota as we go into your uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday. So keep that in mind. Now, the seven-day planner, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We have beautiful weather the next, next two days. A uh, morning mix on your Tuesday, as we talked about, then a nighttime mix going into uh, Minnesota on Wednesday. Look at this. Steady temperatures in the teens all day, but overnight, big time rising, setting the stage for the big change ahead on Thursday. Wind, and snow combined to make areas of snow and blowing snow. Some of that could be heavy. Gusty winds could exceed 40 miles per hour from the north as this system works in on Thursday. It will mainly impact eastern North Dakota, the Red River Valley counties, as well as western Minnesota and all of Minnesota, as a matter of fact, as temperatures will fall from 36 on Thursday at nighttime. We're 21 on Friday morning and continuing to fall, and we lose another touchdown by the time we get to your Friday afternoon, 14 degrees, on our way to sub-zero arctic blast kind of weather as the snow exits but then another system makes its way through as we head to the end of our weekend there on the 18th with steady temperatures in the teens it looks like another chance of snow so now let's take a look at the snowfall potential we're going to look at that usa view first let's check this out 
Big time snow as we go from now all the way through Saturday morning this week across the Great Lakes region. You can see that. And I mentioned last week how this would back its way in. That's what's going to happen. We're going to have some cooler air settle in as we go through Tuesday night and Wednesday that you saw making its way into the north. And then that system dives straight out of Canada, latching into some moisture from the south and really bringing heavier snow. Now notice, I do think if we take this in a little bit closer, please do not post anything on here about or, or have any uh, confidence in these digits that you're seeing here. This is the European model, and this is basically taking place between Thursday and Saturday morning here across the region. Now, what I do want to highlight is highlighted for you. The heavier chance of heavier snow is going to be most likely in central Minnesota and out to the east because we have multiple models showing a solution similar to this. Four out of four models showing some significant snow, and most of them have it pinned in central Minnesota. A little more uncertainty here in the valley, but many models do show that chance, so do not pay any attention to the numbers you see here. These global models have a, um, a mesh, if you will, or a grid that's fairly large, so they tend to overblow the aerial coverage of the big time snow. So let's not get overexcited about that. But what we can get excited about is that numerous models are showing a chance of a change. I'm going to show you that right now as we head into the uh, halftime festivities here on your football Sunday. Let's go check this out. Number one, we're going to take a look at the European model out here. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at other models as well. So bear with me while I load up four different models here. And we'll take a peek at what they're going to show us with regards to these snow chances. And it is is not pretty. This is that European model, and this is by that Saturday time frame as we go through the middle of the day. This looks exactly like what I was just showing you as we go through. Now I'm going to switch this puppy over, and this is a Canadian model here. Shows a little more snow in central North Dakota. More uncertainty with this because this might be the only model that shows this, but again, it has the Red River Valley counties as well as Minnesota under the gun for some measurable snow, and again, the timing on this is going to be that uh, Thursday and Friday in particular with the event. Now, the American model shows most of the snow in northern Minnesota, cuts it off at the Highway 10 corridor here and points south. So we'll keep our eyes on this. But again, heavy snow and the heaviest off in the Minnesota side, the Red River Valley getting some wintry conditions. And here is a look at a German model showing similar pattern, not as heavy until we get into the Southern Valley. And look at this. This one says the I-94 corridor and the I-90 corridor both and the I-29 corridor seeing a healthy chance of some snow. And another a model from overseas showing that this is very similar to what we saw with the European model here, Red River Valley and points east. So four out of four models showing big time snow, and it does come with that potential for wind as well. And that's why I'll be keeping my eyes on things for you. Now, let's take a peek in again at the uh, forecast summarized for you on that seven-day planner. As we go through the next couple of days, we got a lot of enjoyment here. Big changes coming through on Wednesday. There'll be some places up north North near the international border the next couple of days that have some slippery conditions with wintry mixes making their way through, but the rest of us enjoying very mild conditions. Thursday, it warms up, but the big time change will be here pretty much first thing in the day, and it lasts right into Friday morning for many areas, and even beyond that with gusty north winds causing blowing and drifting and all of those slippery road conditions to perhaps continue as we go through uh, Friday. Saturday, quiet on the winds. We get a little break from that, but not the cold. Look at that. That's a mighty slap in the face going from near 40 to 10 below. That's a 50 degree swing there in a couple of days with another chance for some Sunday snow showers. Thank you for watching. Again, please check out my weather app. Thanks to all of you who've downloaded stunning photos from across the region from your app on your mobile device or right here on HutchinsWeather.com. Absolutely stunning conditions. Some getting some snow to day up there in the Northland and not far from Bemidji there we did see that there was some plowing going on with about an inch or two inches reported there. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your football as we go through the week and we'll see who my Broncos get to play next week as the beat rolls on with the Sunday football. Now a look at your uh a uh, trip to Norway that I'm going to be taking. I'd love to have you sign on now. You can get the latest on that by heading over to my website right here and clicking on my main page and going right here and clicking on this Norwegian flag. I'd love for you to find out more details about this, but for now, I'll introduce you to our Norwegian tour guide who knows a lot about Norway. Hi, I'm Frode Tilden. I will be your native Norwegian tour director on the 11-day fantastic trip through Norway in August. Join Hutch and myself to explore the cities of Oslo, Flom, Bergen and Trondheim and many more. Call Breaker Tours for more info.
Looking forward to see you in the fjords country of Norway. Thank you, Froda. And here's a look at those numbers. Uh, Brecky Tours and Travel, 701-772-8999. Give them a call today. Let them know that Hutch and Froda sent you and you want to visit Norway with us. Have yourself a wonderful evening. We'll talk again soon.